What's up guys? It's me. You know how it is. Felt like doing another one of these videos because honestly I have a lot of work to do and procrastination is just a very healthy coping mechanism. Aside from the fact that I spent the uh, aside from the fact that I spent the time in between those last footage segments changing my appearance in hopes of being hilarious, here is what we have going on right now. We have an enormous amount of work to do, so much so that I can't tell the difference between the colors red and blue right now, and I assure you, I am not colorblind. We have an enormous amount of what clinicians like to call burnout going on right now. I am indeed very burnt out, and the burnout is legitimate. We have a desire not to be lazy and to make it a point to fight through the laziness and pretend that we are perfectly content in ourselves. We have a watch telling us what time it is. And according to the watch, it is noon, which means it is just about time for breakfast. And lastly, we also have a imminent existential crisis happening. But will we be dealing with any of those problems today? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Take all the previous information I just said out of the way. The reason why I decided to get a recording of myself going is to tell you about this. This piece of attire. Now, as soon as I got this thing, people were telling me, Whoa, man, look at you. The color that has been added to your sense of style is impeccable. Or... Hey man, that 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 sweatshirt or whatever it is you got on, it looks nice, but we have a problem. This has faded. I put it into the laundry machine one time and it is no longer as the kids would call dope. So there are several things that I can do. I can never wash it again in hopes that it stays like this. I could never wear it again, or I can turn to the internet. Now, those of you who may not know, there is this website called www.google.com, which can serve as a tool to help you find information. So that is what I have been doing. I would also like to say that this sweatshirt is not the only thing that has fallen victim to this war against laundry. This shirt right here, answering your question, yes. I specifically got changed out of that previous attire to put this on and show it as an example. This shirt has become faded. And while I do not have any good pictures to showcase the uh, effects that the laundry war has taken on my shirt, I do have a video of me dancing. And I will show that to you now. Oh wait, hold on, there's people coming. <laughs> if you notice me in that shirt versus me in this shirt, that one looks a lot less faded. The laundry war has taken a toll on the coloring of these shirts. And we're going to take it back. www.google.com can be a very helpful tool. So I utilize that. And it turns out that there are several methods that you can use to dye your clothes. The clothes need to be black, I, I'm pretty sure. I've actually heard that you can get dark coffee and dye your clothes by putting the black clothes that you have into the washing machine and while it's soaking you take two cups of coffee and pour it into the washing machine and that will dye your clothes you guys are wondering if this is the piece of machinery we'll be using today it's absolutely amazing it's a hell of a machine honestly so um here we go we are 
incorporating the settings to get this piece of machinery to make it work. I say that we are at a capacity. I guess we can leave it delicate. It's to soak for a while. So let's soak for an hour. So now we need to use our mathematical skills and convert those coffees into three cups. I said two to three cups. We're going three because either you live on the edge or you die in the middle, folks. We have a measuring cup. So now what we are going to do is we are going to wait for the machine to finish soaking or wait for it to start soaking. And then we will pour our coffee in. So, imagination time. Pretend that I took that one cup of coffee and I poured it in three times. That means there's three cups in here. And that's what I did. I hope you guys are on the edge of your seats. So now we are salting. This is an important part. So I have read via www.google.com. Here we go. Sprinkle that in there. So. Our laundry machine is set to soak for an hour, which means it will be soaking for an hour. Now, the thing is, I'm really bad at editing videos. So if it's all right with you guys, I'll just let the camera roll for like, I don't know, like an hour and... Well, the sweatshirt has been machined by the washing machine. And I have taken this sweatshirt out of the washing machine. I'm not sure what kind of leaps and bounds I was expecting, but this is the end result. So you guys were able to see what it looked like before and what it looks like now. Honestly, I'm... I don't see that much of a difference. This this experience has been a roller coaster and a half. And stay tuned next time for the next adventure, guys. Because if you thought this was fun, you will be amazed with what we have going on next time.